Hello, and welcome to Something Starts Ringing Tarot. My name is Ryan, and today I have a fun hashtag that I want to share with you. It's called Hashtag TarotTubers A to Z. This was originally created by Simon over at Hermit's Cave, I think about three years ago, and I first saw it on James Feeney's channel when he did this hashtag. So I'll have both of those videos linked in the description if you want to check those out. And then there's also a bunch of just other YouTubers that did this hashtag as well. Uh, so if you just search the hashtag or click on the hashtag in any of the videos, it will show you all those people. Um, I found some of my favorite YouTubers through this tag, so I thought I'd do it myself. Um, this is just 26 questions that correspond to each letter of the English alphabet and just kind of getting to know me. Um, so there's a lot of different questions. A lot of them are unique questions that I wouldn't have expected to be in a get to know me tag. Uh, so let's just get right into it and have some fun. Uh, a is for age. I am 33 years old. Um, so that's a pretty simple one to start with. Uh, I also wanted to include my astrological big three uh, for A. Uh, this is just me adding to the tag. Um, I don't know much about astrology, but I know in this community a lot of people can get to know you by your astrological signs. So my big three, my sun sign is Capricorn, my moon sign is Libra, and my ascendant sign is Cancer. So if that means anything to you, I'm not I don't understand it quite yet, but that's my big three to help you get to know me if you're into that. Uh, B is for favorite book. Um, so this was a hard one for me. I don't read too often, and when I do read, I just enjoy the book, and it doesn't have a huge impact on me normally. Um, there are a couple here and there that I really like. Um, like, in general, I like the Dan Brown books, like Da Vinci Code and... Inferno and Origin and things like that, but I couldn't choose a favorite out of those. So he's probably my favorite author, but I couldn't choose a favorite book. Um, so the one I went with that I read a couple years ago that just has stuck with me a little bit is called The Luster of Lost Things. Uh, so this is about a little boy. Um, he has a communication disability or disorder. Um, and he just kind of goes on an adventure with his dog to find this, like, magical book. Um, it's a very... I don't want to say cute story, but it's very deep and kind of inspires you to search for those things that you're passionate about and don't let anything get in your way. Um, so this, like, childhood innocence of this little boy and his dog going on this adventure just really spoke to me and it really had an impact on me. So right now I'd say this is my favorite book. Uh, C is for career. Um, they asked what your career you thought you were going to be when you were a kid or wanted to be when you grew up and then what your career is now. Uh, so when I was a kid, I really wanted to be an astronaut. I was fascinated by space and space shuttles and planets and all of that kind of thing. Um, so I really wanted to be an astronaut. I always told myself I was going to be an astronaut. I was going to train at NASA. I was going to go to the moon or whatever. Um, but then as I grew up, unfortunately, I developed motion sickness. So I'd get sick in the car or on planes or things like that. And I still do get that a little bit in my adult life. So that pretty much killed my dream of being an astronaut, <laughs> but that's okay. Um, so what I've developed into now is I'm actually a laser technician, so I build industrial laser systems and do stuff like that in my real job. So tarot is obviously my side hobby, um, so that's what I do in my real life. Um, D is for dream. Uh, this was a hard one for me to think about. I don't really see myself as someone who like dreams and thinks about my kind of overall dreams for the future and stuff like that. Um, but what I came up with is that in general, I dream that we could live in a world where everyone is kind to each other and just kind of let people live their life as long as they're not like hurting anybody or things like that. Um, I just want to live in a, I just dream to live in a world where we accept each other for who we are and don't like demonize people for being different than us 
Um, it's kind of a hot button topic right now, but this specifically for me relates to the trans community. Um, I really want to be in a world where everyone is accepted for their gender and can identify with whatever gender they want to. Um, so this is just something that I dream about and I really think would be great in this world. Um, another, to kind of go along with that, it's obviously a different thing, is right now there's a lot of struggle and tension about drag queens, and I wish we could just let people have their fun, express their art through drag, and put on entertaining shows without the fear of being harassed or getting into legal battles or things like that. So that's just my take. I'm going to step off my soapbox now, but that's kind of my dream for the world is that everyone, specifically trans people and drag queens, can just live their life and be happy with doing what they want to do. Okay, so that got a little deeper than I thought, but that's okay. Um, e is for essential item. Um, this is immediately obvious that my essential item would be my phone. Um, as far as having the internet, having communication with people, things like that. Um, but besides that, because that's kind of what Simon and James both picked as well, because I think a lot of people are pretty dependent on our phones at this point. Um, my second essential item would probably be my medication. Um, I'm on some fairly important medication, so I would need that. But beyond any of that, like actually needing to survive off, kind of thing. Um, I took my time thinking about it and I think I would pick a journal, um, which is kind of weird for me to say because I have a lot of journals in my like collection that I don't really write in, which I think a lot of people kind of can relate to. But I would like to have a journal just so I can express my thoughts and have them write, written down. Um, that really helps me kind of cope with whatever's going on is if I can actually get my thoughts onto paper. Um, so if I was in a crisis or something and I needed one item to choose from my life, I'd probably take a journal just to have that outlet. Uh, my next question is F, and this is the favorite Rider Waite Smith tarot deck. Uh, right now I only have one like actual Rider Waite Smith. I have a lot of clones as you can see up here, um, so some of them fall into that Rider Waite Smith category. But I'd say my favorite Rider Waite Smith tarot deck so far is the Rider tarot deck. Um, let's see if I can get that up closer, kind of out of the light. But the Rider tarot deck, uh, this was my first deck. It's the yellow box, the plaid backs. I really enjoy it. I like the coloring. I like the like symbolism on it. And I just learned on this deck, so it's kind of my favorite RWS deck for that. Um, the next is G gold or silver is the question. I really couldn't figure out if I have a preference. Um, I don't really wear jewelry or kind of buy metal trinkets. Um, as you can see, I kind of like the glass theme more than the metal gold or silver. But if I had to choose, I'd probably say silver. Um, it's just a little more classy, I guess. I really don't know, but I'll go with silver. Uh, H is for height. I am five foot six inches tall, uh, so I'm on the shorter side, but I don't really mind. It doesn't impact my life at all, so I'm five six. Uh, I is for ideal day. Um, I would probably say that my ideal day would start at the beach. Uh, maybe seeing the sunrise at the beach is always nice. I'd spend a few hours just reading or sleeping or <laughs> just enjoying the sun, enjoying the water, enjoying the calm. And then after that, I would like to, for an ideal day, go antiquing or go to a flea market of some sort. I really enjoy just walking around and finding hidden treasures or good deals or things like that. Um, just seeing what antiques the collectors or the dealers have at different antique fairs or events like that. So I'd, I'd enjoy doing that. Um, this may sound very antisocial, and that's because it is, but I would like to do all of this alone, ideally. <laughs> um, I am an introvert, and I do like my alone time, so an ideal day is just kind of relaxing by myself, not having to worry about impressing others or comparing myself to others or 
what conversations I need to have or all that. So an ideal day would be spent alone. Um, and then I would obviously have meals throughout the day, but then my ideal day would always include a like before bed or late evening snack of ice cream. Um, this is just kind of a not tradition, but something I kind of grew up with in my house was having ice cream at night and just kind of winding down with a little sweet treat. Uh, so that kind of makes me happy when I do that. Um, so that would be included in my ideal day. Uh, J is the next one for joke. Um, I could not think of a favorite joke or just one that had a punchline. Um, honestly, a lot of the jokes that I find myself laughing at are kind of inappropriate and I don't really feel like sharing on YouTube. Um, so I kind of have that inappropriate, cheeky humor. Um, some of my favorite jokes or comedy specials that I've seen lately are roasts, uh, where they're kind of making fun of someone or the making fun of each other on the dais or whatever, um, all in good fun. So they bring up like their life things and they make fun of them and they kind of jab at each other, but they all know it's in good fun and kind of can take the joke. I really enjoy that kind of humor. Um, specifically one that stood out was the RuPaul's Drag Race All-Stars roast uh, comedy special. I just have watched that so many times. It's so funny. Um, a little inappropriate here and there, but I enjoy that, so I do that. And then also the Smosh YouTube channel has recently done kind of taking the idea from an old RuPaul's Drag Race roast is they've done funeral roasts. So one person is laying in a casket and that's the roastee of the night. So they are they have died and then everybody's giving their speeches at their quote unquote funeral. Um, it's just a cheeky way to incorporate a roast while the person's kind of on display on the stage. Um, so I've really liked that series. So it's called the Blank is Dead series on Smosh. Um, there's some really good ones. A lot of them are inside jokes that you kind of have to know Smosh to get, but I've really enjoyed those kind of jokes. Uh, K is for kids. Um, I do not have any myself, and right now I don't have any interest in having kids. Um, I'm single. I just don't have any interest in pursuing that at the moment, so that's kind of my answer to that question. Um, I do have 13 cousins or more, um, depending on second cousins and step cousins and things like that, so I have a lot of kids that I've grown up with in my life, so I really enjoy kids. I like kids. I can help take care of kids because I'm one of the older cousins in my extended family. Uh, but right now I don't have any kids and I'm not actively pursuing having kids. Uh, L is for living arrangements. Um, right now I live by myself in a home that I own and I've been here for seven years. So I'm very proud of that. Um, it was a very obviously big financial step um, and I'm just proud that I can live by myself in a home. I'm doing a lot of house projects and learning how expensive home ownership is, but I really do enjoy living by myself. M is for your favorite Marseille deck. Uh, so far, I don't have any Marseille decks. I tried one. It was like a little tarot kit that was Marseille that I didn't really even know what it was. Um, and I didn't really vibe with it, so I got rid of it in a garage sale. Um, so I don't really have a favorite Marseille deck just because I haven't studied it or really worked with any. N is for nicknames. Um, I've had a few. My family kind of calls me Rye Guy or Rye Rye. Um, those are kind of simple, cute nicknames that some people call me, like my mom calls me Rye Guy or whatever. And then just a story about my life that I thought would be funny for this tag. Uh, when I was growing up, specifically in elementary school, I remember, um, all the way through high school, I used to have like big, big curly blonde hair. Um, so it was almost like a puff ball on the top of my head at some points. And I can specifically remember in elementary school, the bullies would call me Q-tip. So that was kind of my bully nickname. Um, at, when I was that age, I did not appreciate it. And I really hated that nickname, obviously. Um, but now I can laugh at it and just kind of, it's part of my past. So I wanted to share that on this video. 
Um, o is for Oracle deck, favorite Oracle deck. I only have two right now. Um, the first one I bought, I kind of bought these at the same time, but the first one I got was the Sacred Earth Oracle. I do really like this deck so far. I really like the guidebook especially because it talks all about the like sacred geometry and patterns and things that go on in nature and with the earth and how that kind of can connect to our lives and be inspirational and how it's all designed and created. So I like that one. And then my other Oracle deck, I don't have a favorite yet because I've just started working with them. My other one is the Earth, Moon, and Shadow Oracle. Uh, this is a great deck too. It's obviously more shadowy. Um, so I just need to spend more time with it. But this is my other Oracle deck. P is for something you are passionate about. Um, this is something I struggle with, is finding passions in my life and kind of working towards something that I'm passionate about or deciding what I personally am passionate about instead of kind of taking direction from other people about what I should like or what I should do. Um, so one thing I am passionate about is being kind to others. Um, I kind of mentioned this before in my dream discussion but I really feel like it's important, especially for myself and just how I live my life, is to be kind to others. Don't upset other people by judging them or getting in conflict with them unnecessarily. Um, just being kind with them, accepting them for who they are, and yeah. Um, and then I've slowly grown into being passionate about tarot. Obviously, I have a YouTube channel, I have some decks, I have a tarot altar. I have a mostly daily practice when I do it. So I'm becoming passionate about tarot and I'm learning more and more that I really enjoy that too. Uh, Q is for quote, like your favorite quote from somebody. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I came up with four, actually. I could not pick just one quote. And unfortunately, I don't have the... Um, what's it called? The person who said these quotes written down. I didn't spend the time to look it up, unfortunately. Um, but these are kind of four quotes that I've remembered throughout my life that I really liked. Uh, the first one is, how many chances do you get to do something and do it? So that really speaks to kind of taking the chance when you have the chance. Um, the next one is, be the change you wish, wish to see in the world. I know this is a very popular quote. I believe it's Gandhi, but don't quote me on that. Um, so I just really like that and kind of had a great experience with kind of be the change throughout my life. Um, the next quote that I really like is that one of my middle school teachers actually said a lot, um, and it's just kind of stuck with me as a life lesson. It's, if you don't have time to do something right the first time, when are you going to find time to do it again? So this really speaks to taking your time, doing something correctly, not making mistakes, and kind of saving time in the long run by doing things right the first time. <coughs> Excuse me, I got a little cough all of a sudden. And then my last quote, I just thought it was really funny, and I think it's a president, but I don't want to say who it is because I'm not exactly sure at the moment. Um, the last quote I want to share is, speak softly and carry a big stick. So I really like this just kind of because I'm an introvert myself, just kind of express your opinion, but always be ready to defend yourself and whatever. So <laughs> I just think that's a really cute, cute quote. All right, next is uh, R for relationship status. I'm currently single and I enjoy being single. I'm happily single. Like I said before, I enjoy my alone time. Um, I do enjoy a date here, or there, um, but I'm not really looking for a long-term relationship at this point in my life. Um, S is favorite season. Um, this is kind of a tricky one for me because I live in Florida, uh, the Orlando area actually, and we don't have as defined of seasons as other parts of the world or country. Um, we have, we're pretty warm comparative most of the year, so we don't have really distinguished seasons. I do go home to see the snow in the winter up to Michigan, but we don't really have a 
major seasons down here in Florida, but if I had to choose, I'd probably choose the fall, um, the autumn time. I really like this time of just like settling down after the summer busyness, craziness, but before it gets too cold, um, everybody's just kind of in like a comforty mood, slowing down, starting a new school year, kind of things like that. I also like the fall because it's after the spring and the summer when my allergies go crazy. Um, <clears throat> right now that's probably what I'm struggling with with this cough is allergies. Um, so I like the fall, it's kind of everything slowly, all the pollen slowly dying off and the flowers and stuff kind of going away <laughs> that I'm allergic to. So I'd probably choose the fall. Uh, T is for tarot first and last. So like I said before, my first tarot deck that I ever owned was the Rider Tarot deck. Um, that was the one I studied on and learned when I didn't know tarot very well. And my last tarot deck, the most recent one that I purchased and got, was the Tarot of Oneness. So I've spent a little time with this. Um, it's a very interesting perspective on the tarot cards. You can check out my haul video that I did before um, if you want to see more about that. Um, let's see. The letter U is for what upsets me the most. Um, I have two thing, two answers for this question. The first is when I see children or young people being mistreated or in stressful situations. Um, this really, I don't know, irks something in me and upsets me. Um, yeah. So I don't want to get too deep into that, but when I hear about stories like that or people taking advantage of little kids or putting them in stressful situations, I don't really like that. Um, one lighter situation that comes, kind of comes to mind is I used to drive to work on a bus route and so the bus would stop and I would get like visibly anxious when I would see the kids almost miss the bus or like be running to the bus when it was stopped, like running from their neighborhood, trying not to miss it. That just like hits me in the heart of knowing that stressful situation, but they are like innocent and don't know the world around them kind of thing. So that just kind of upsets me when I see kids put in stressful situations or when they're mistreated. On a lighter note, another thing that upsets me is when people are not punctual or on time. This is one of my biggest pet peeves in life is being on time and respecting others time. Um, so that's just a lighter thing that upsets me. Uh, the letter V is for vlog. I'm going to use this as like video on my YouTube channel. I don't really do vlogging like what my day is like, but I'm going to use this as videos on my YouTube channel for vlog. Uh, they ask, which one are you most proud of? And then which one is the most popular or viewed? So I'd say the video I'm most proud of on my channel so far is my actual channel introduction. It's a very quick video where I just kind of explain my who I am, why I named my title, why I named my channel Something Starts Ringing, and just kind of a fun video. Um, I'm really proud of it and I've watched it multiple times myself because it just makes me smile and it kind of takes me back to that first like moment of passion that I had to start this channel. Uh, my most viewed video, according to like views on YouTube, is my deck collection. I know these are very popular on YouTube, so that's by far and away my most viewed video. And then I'd say my most popular video, I'm kind of reading into this a little bit, was my tarot whodunit that I did in October. Um, it's kind of a game to see, it's like a murder mystery with tarot. Um, so I'd say this is my most popular because I had many people, probably seven or eight if I'm correct, do VRs to it. Um, mine was originally a VR to Lisa Pepez, um, but I saw other people kind of take that idea and run with it for after I posted that video and kind of brought it back to the tarot tube front like recent videos. Um, so that's kind of my most popular video I'd say. I'll have links to all those in the description or you can just check out my channel to watch those three videos as well. <coughs> Excuse me, almost done. Uh, the letter W 
is for your biggest weakness? Uh, this is always a tough question. Um, they always ask this in interviews for jobs, right? Um, so I'd say my, um, I have a couple kind of weaknesses that I'm going to highlight. My first is I would say my social anxiety is a weakness that I have. I get very anxious and kind of questioning whether I want to do social activities. Um, I, like I said, I like being by myself. I'm pretty introverted, so I always get anxious about like, what am I going to talk to people about? What am I going to say to people? What are they going to think of me? Things like that. Um, so that's kind of a weakness in my life that I'm working on. I also compare myself to others a lot. And this is a big overarching thing that I'm working on in my life is just living my life and being who I am. Uh, so that's kind of a weakness of myself is that I do tend to compare myself to others and compare my situation to others as far as whether I'm succeeding or failing or things like that. So I'm working on those, but that's just kind of something to get to know me by. Uh, the letter X is for something X rated. Uh, tell us something naughty that you've done. Um, I'm not going to get into too much detail <laughs> because this is a public YouTube channel. But if you want to hear a little bit more on this topic, you can check into my tarot in the bedroom tag. Um, I discussed some pretty spicy ideas in that video. Um, so go check that out if you want to know a little bit more. Uh, that's just a tease and maybe a little self-promotion there, but I'm not going to get into too many X-rated details about naughty things that I've done in my life, but that kind of gives you a little hint is that tarot in the bedroom tag. Um, but to answer the question a little bit for this video, um, a little naughty thing that I do enjoy is my favorite game to play with friends is Cards Against Humanity. Um, this game is just so ridiculous. Like it says on the box, it's a party game for horrible people. It's super inappropriate. It's super not politically correct. Um, but it's just a fun time to laugh with friends and kind of just accept that we can laugh at the taboo things in life and just enjoy each other's company. It's a really good party game. It can last for hours. It can last for 20 minutes. However long you want to play it, you can play this game. Um, so if you check this out or if you don't know this game, fair warning, it is inappropriate. And it is X-rated in different ways. Um, so that's my X-rated answer to the question. Something naughty that I enjoy. Uh, y is for yesteryear. Um, this is choosing your favorite year in the past of your life. Um, this is hard for me um, because obviously every year comes with its ups and downs. Um, I grow every year that I live obviously and I become more experienced and can look back on different things that came up in different years and whatever. Um, but to choose one I'd probably pick 2011. Uh, this was my junior year in college and specifically what really sticks out in this year was my summer internship experience. I worked at the University of Nebraska and that internship really inspired me to go into the career path that I'm in now. Um, this was just kind of the first practical experience I had in this field and that summer internship research experience really kind of solidified my decision to go into this field. So 2011, specifically the summer, is my yesteryear answer. And lastly, the Z letter. This is for Zen, or how you relax. Um, lately, obviously, I've been doing tarot to relax. It really helps with my stress and in my anxiety and to kind of center me on a specific card or specific idea in my life and just kind of takes away the other stresses and things in life. Another thing I like to do to relax is be alone, as I've discussed a couple times in this video. I really do my, enjoy my alone time and kind of recuperating from social situations and just kind of re-energizing myself to be around people again. Um, and then lastly, something I definitely do to relax or kind of let my mind um, calm down is I watch YouTube. I watch a lot of YouTube. 
I do watch many tarot tube videos, but I also have a separate account that I save for all of my random videos. Like I mentioned, I watch Smosh, I watch some YouTubers, I watch some just a bunch of random YouTube videos. Um, so I just really like that to kind of like let my mind not worry about anything and not have to think. So those are my answers to the 26 prompts for the tarot tubers A to Z. I hope you... Did I go through everything? Yeah, all right. Um, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you got to know me a little more. I would love to see your answers to this tag. If you want to tag me or comment on this video that you did a VR or something like that. Um, I have gone through many of the videos that are already on the hashtag, but I just kind of wanted to bring it back because I'm new to the tarot tube scene and I wanted to introduce myself to everybody out there. So with that, this is life. This is what I'm talking about. You manage to be happy for five seconds and something starts ringing. <laughs>